My name is Stuart Stock of Feinberg School of Medicine, Northwestern University, and I study sea urchins. Most of us are familiar with sea urchins as either something that we might eat at a sushi bar, or something that might stab our feet in tide pools, or something that we would see on the ocean floor while snorkeling. Sea urchins protect themselves with rigid spines projecting from their bodies. The spines of some species of sea urchins are very long and quite flexible, and are single crystals of calcite. The video shows the 3D structure of one such spine as imaged non-destructively by microcomputer tomography. Micro-CT is a higher resolution version of the medical CAT or CT scanner. Both combine X-ray shadow graphs from many viewing directions to form a cross-sectional map of the sample or patient. In this video, calcite appears white, except for the central portion of the spine, which is highlighted in orange and the non-mineralized portions of the volume appear black or dark gray. The three orthogonal planes, one of which moves along the spine's length in the video, reveal a complex system of radial and transverse structural elements. The structure effectively resists bending stresses, but also allows nutrients to reach the internal soft tissues. Now, why should a material scientist care? After all, Calcite is a wretched structural material prone to cleavage and fracture at low stresses. The calcite produced by sea urchins, however, is much superior to inorganic calcite as a structural material. In addition, the very complex geometry of the single crystals is produced at ambient temperatures. Learning how the sea urchin produces such structures may someday allow us to develop low temperature processing strategies for calcium phosphate prostheses, i.e. bone replacements, something of immense importance in medicine.